You've seen all those First Amendment audit videos and stuff like that on YouTube people post. But I can't get chased out of a public building. We're not going to chase you out. Okay. You're coming with me. For you what? Do, you do not get away with calling me an asshole. How's it going, guys? I'm against it press. We are coming to you today from Sundance, Wyoming. Um, we are at the US Post Office here in Sundance, and we're just gonna pay a little visit on these folks here today and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. Um, as usual, I am out with Watching the Watchmen. And uh, let me give you a little view of the neighborhood here. And uh, while I'm doing that, time and temperature check. Today is, I don't have my watch on, so give me a second here. Today is Monday, May 17th. And it is 2.04 in the afternoon. And it is 72 degrees and absolutely gorgeous in Sundance, Wyoming. Uh, you can see some of the beautiful rolling hills here. Beautiful blue sky out today. And uh, fantastic weather. So uh, glad you could join us. And uh, always appreciate you guys stopping by. And uh, I'm also just talking a little quiet here today because there's some people milling around that I'm just not trying to uh, give up what we're doing here. Um, but I'm glad you were able to uh, stop by and take the ride with us and uh, check out Sundance. So uh, let's see how it goes. Oh, and I uh, also always want to point out to you guys, and being that we're in Wyoming, not such a major deal um, as in some places, but I am exercising my 2A today as well. And I uh, always just like to point that out because it can sometimes put a little uh, different spin on things. Actually, can't believe I forgot to wear my watch today. That's a first. The lady that went inside just said there's like three people outside walking around with cameras. She's talking on the phone to somebody. How's it going, Watchman? So yeah, let me get you a Sundance State Bank here across the street. And let me get you a little view of the sign. Front of the post office. And uh, we never miss an opportunity to recognize old glory waving in the breeze as she should. O W M I A, not forgotten, never forget. Beautiful part of the country, guys. This is my absolute favorite, favorite uh, landscape. Red rock, green rolling hills, evergreens, mountains. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You want to go around the back first? Yeah. Sure. So it looks like this parking here is, is reserved for uh, postal employees on the side of the building. What is that, like inside the uh, office there? I guess. Somebody's office. Then you have an uh, employee entrance here. What a day, huh? Yeah, it's nice. Let's check the signage on the back door here. Side door. 
hours. Nothing, uh, nothing stands out. Very cool bike. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Sorry? What are you doing? Oh, just taking some video of the post office. Okay. How are we doing? Beautiful day in Sundance, oh, yeah. I guess. Huh? Oh, you're filming us? Well, I'm filming whatever, yeah. Oh, there's another guy over there. Yep, he's filming me. I'm filming him. Oh, are you on the newspaper? No, hold on. Nothing to do with the newspaper. Am I sure? Yeah, positive. I'd tell you if I was with the news. Yeah. Are you with the newspaper? No. There you go, right on. That was going to be my second guess. <laughs> Take care, guys. So, a good time to just point out that a couple of people have... Uh, stopped and asked what we're doing and inquired but uh nobody with an attitude or uh, being aggressive so i'm fine with that but uh ain't over yet stand by like you want me to go around you oh no no, oh, no okay. worries i'm sorry i didn't want to be in your way oh no you're fine don't forget to drink water i know most of you aren't drinking enough Sorry? What are you guys doing? Like Google Maps or something? No, I'm just taking some video of the post office. Oh, for? What are you doing? I'm getting my mail. I'm oh. just asking. I, we oh, just yeah, I was just asking too. Every day. I was, yeah, yeah. Oh, because I don't recognize you guys and it's a small town. I was just asking. Yeah, I'm yeah, just... no, we're just, no, I told you, I'm just taking some video of the post office. Okay. Isn't yeah. it an exciting place? Well, I don't know. I guess perception's what it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Strange. Okay. You're not like plotting anything crazy in our town. Is that right what you go to thinking? No, but it's strange for our town. Yeah. No, it isn't what I go to thinking, but mm -hmm. or just, mm -hmm. I just thought I'd ask it. I just figured you would tell me. Because well, in the town I'm deal. from, it would yeah. be strange to walk up to somebody on the street and ask them what they're doing. Oh, no, so that's what I'm saying. It's kind of like. We know everybody here. Yeah. Right? So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Have, Have a good day. Look at this car, very cool. Mind if I ask you what year it is? 69. 69, that's the year I was born. <laughs> Best year ever. Yeah. I'm sure people ask you all the time. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. Well, awesome car, enjoy it. Thank you. Yeah. Very cool, it's a 69. So here's what cars look like when AP was born. I think it's cool. I used to have a bunch of uh, Matchbox cars that look like that. Hot Wheels. Yeah, so we'll go in and get our stamp and get our receipt as usual. And uh, of course, I'm gonna have to run back to my truck and leave my Amigo safely stored in the truck. Yeah, so I'm gonna walk over to the uh, truck and Stole my friend away. I'll be right back. Right. Be back in two seconds, guys. Just going to run over to the truck and uh, secure my Amigo. And uh, that way we can go back inside or go inside. Stand by. All right, let's go inside. Take a look. See what's going on.
After you, sir? I notice how there's like no signage. It doesn't even say no pew pews. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Nice and cool in here. I think there's an argument to be made there, since most post offices don't have that on the uh, on the door. If you walked in. Well, there's a whole discussion to be had about that. Yeah. We'll get into that one day. Um, so here is poster seven. Then you have your post office box area. Cool. How are you, sir? Oh, we have a Crook County Sheriff pulling up. Interesting. He's like, I don't see anybody out here. Uh -huh. All right, so let's go. Uh, let's go get our stamp. He can come in and uh, interrupt that if he wants. Thank you. Yes, sir. Just got called out. I guess people were nervous. You guys were walking around filming some stuff. You people called you because I'm walking around with a camera. Yeah, they said you had some pistols on you and whatnot too. Wow, that's incredible. So I just come to check everything out, see how things were going. Yeah, well, I won't. I won't stand in your way. Okay. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking to buy a stamp. Oh, okay. I'm just waiting online. I can help you. Sure. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know. Thank you so much. So I just need one stamp, please. Okay. You guys, just for. Clarification, there's no pistols or anything on you or anything like that, right? Whatever you say. Okay. Yeah. okay Doesn't so look like you're carrying, I just gotta make sure. I guess they saw your OC spray and were like, assuming you had a gun. Mm -hmm. 55 cents. Oh, here, I'll hit a button, it'll tell you when it's ready. Okay. There you go. So, you're asking me about filming and carrying a firearm. Both things that are perfectly illegal here. Are perfectly legal here. Right. No, hmm. I just told you that I was called here to make sure everything was okay. I didn't, didn't say I was here to talk to you about filming. Or anything. So, I just want to make sure everybody's okay here and that everybody's comfortable with the fact that you're filming in the facility. So. Well, I can't speak to everybody's comfort. I don't know about that. All right, and that's all I'm here for is because so we had a couple calls that you guys were walking around with cameras and somebody assumed or thought you had a firearm on you. So. Do you need your receipt? Yes, please. Thank you, man. But um, like I said, both things that are perfectly legal. So I'm right. sorry somebody wasted your time and called you about that. So there you go. Thank, thank you, man. If Appreciate that's all you. you're going to do, you. then we're going to get out of here and let you guys get back to your day. And can I just ask your name and badge number so I know who yep, spoke Deputy with? Tadlock, Crook County Sheriff's Office, badge number 1814. 1814. You, sir? Deputy Nick Kaminsky, Crook County Sheriff's Office, 18-5 is my badge number. 18-5, great. Okay, very good. Sorry people uh, gave you a false alarm there. No worries. Okay. I gotta chit chat with these guys, so we're just, you guys well, are just to go. go. No, have it, have at it. Yeah. I don't want to get in your way. Since it's concerning us, I'll just stick around and make sure I'm not needed for the conversation. Actually, it's not concerning you; it's about something else. Oh, okay. Well, they have a back room. If you knock on the door, they'll let you in. Okay. This is a public lobby, so if you're looking to have a private conversation, it's probably not a good place to do it. Okay. Right? Just out of curiosity, what are you, what are you guys trying to do here? What am I buy a stamp? Okay. Just out of curiosity, what's with the GoPros? GoPros are used for taking video. Yeah, did something happen here that we need to be aware of that makes you guys need to film? Nothing that I'm aware of. Okay. So but did something happen that's causing me to film? It. Yeah, just doing it to do it. Well, you have a, you're recording right now. Yeah, but well, hmm. we record Something it. happened here to cause you to film? Yeah, this. This is what happened. Well, I don't know what this is. What, a guy buying a stamp recording his transaction? Okay. I don't know. Well, you guys are good to go. If you want, come in and chit chat with these guys. All right, I'll stick around and just... Make sure it's all good. I'm in no rush. Hi. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah. Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, sure. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. You staying here? Yep. Okay. 
We'll, we'll, see, we'll see you later, man. Yep. Have a good day. So, interesting. The uh, post, uh, I'm sorry, somebody, I don't know if it was the post office, somebody called the sheriff's department and asked them to come because people were taking video and walking around with a firearm. And like Wyoming. I said, yeah, in Wyoming. And like I said, two perfectly legal activities. So I don't know what the, uh, I think it's interesting that somebody would call you about somebody taking video. Yeah, well, you've seen all those First Amendment audit videos and stuff like that on YouTube people post. I'm guessing people are, don't like people walking around with video cameras. And like I said, they thought you had, one of you had a gun on you. What are the First Amendment videos? What's that? You're not aware of the YouTube videos of the audit films, people walking around federal buildings and public buildings no. taking video? No. Okay. Well, they're on YouTube. You can look them up. So. Is there anything wrong with that if they were doing it? I am. A, I'm, a, I'm a video guy for 30 right. something years. So. Yeah. I'm not, video is dear to my heart. I mean, I'm literally not here to argue with you. Oh, I'm not trying to argue like, with you. I'm I, asking a question. I'm just telling you that that's kind of what. And I'm, I'm sorry. If I'm coming off confrontational, I apologize about that. I'm just, I'm just, originally from New York, so I have a little bit of that built into my personality. Yeah, I can't shake, so, you know? No, I just, like I said, People called, said they thought you had a gun on you. You were walking around the post office filming, so. But what is, what is so, if this First Amendment audit thing, if that's what it was, is there, any, is there an issue with that? If there's nothing that says you can't film, I don't know why you can't film. No, no. I don't know. We are. We don't probably get service on here, so. We're good. In the post office. Crook County. Yeah. That's an interesting name, right? Yeah. No, we're good. Sorry about that. You're free to go. Man. I was just going to go through yeah, there. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. After you. So we good? Yeah, everything's good. You guys are good to go. You look a little, like, spooked, to be honest with you. And I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what exactly we're trying to do here. I... I it's not so it's not typical for us to see I get that carrying cameras inside the post office so we're just trying to figure out what's yeah, actually that's what well I'm this gentleman just told me videos. yeah well I was gonna say he told me it is typical not not, not, not here but right but there are people out there that do what you do but they're looking for particular particular information in public buildings so that's why I was trying to figure out they're looking for particular what type of information just, they're looking just for. information in public buildings that you can see from where we're at then they just walk around with cameras so filming in public Right. Oh, I support that 100%. So, we're not going to bother you guys. You guys are good to go. They said you're good. You don't have any weapons or anything to be concerned about. So, we're going to get out of your hair and let's get back to what you're So, what, what's the concern with the weapon, even if there was? So, you're not allowed to have them, not allowed to have them in, the, in, the, in the federal facility. Inside of a federal building. Yes. Right. But you guys would have to then uh, contact Federal Protection Service, I guess, right? Because what kind of jurisdiction do you have on federal property? Right. Well, this is in our jurisdiction, so we can, we can take Federal it. property? Really? You sure about that? That's why we're here. That would require the postmaster having to sign an agreement with your municipality. So that would be something that I can look into. Right. So maybe you should check on that and just see if that's yeah. the case. Because I, I, I mean, wouldn't want you guys to do something if foolish. Somebody, if somebody came in here and shot somebody, I have all right to come in here and stop that. Well, so would I. So I would have the right to come in here and stop that if somebody came in here and shot somebody. But if somebody. it's just a regular average citizen walking around in the post office with a gun, it's not legal. Absolutely not. That's correct. Which, and you know what? It's strange because on this particular post office, most post, post offices have a sign on the front door that says no firearms right. allowed. This one doesn't. Yeah, I, will, I didn't see one either, so. Yes, that's strange. Anyways, so then that, that creates a, a, a legal uh, conundrum there. But uh, you, you know what I'm going to do? And you know what I'm going to do? Because you guys have been very cordial. You've been very professional. And I appreciate that. So I'm going to tell you exactly what we're doing here. You nailed it. Okay. That's what we're doing. Like I said, I, I figured that was going on, and I wasn't going to bother you guys too much because not... Not too worried about No, it. I appreciate you. Now, now, that I've, now that the cat's out of the bag and I told you what I'm doing, I could drop my little bit of standoffishness. Right. I do that to see where you're going and see if you're going to try to give me unlawful orders and tell me I can't do no, something I'm doing. I'm not here to do any of that. You guys... You, you guys really look perplexed. Problems. So, no, I, and, I, I, and you know what? I want you to leave here with all the knowledge you need, so ask me any questions you want to ask me. Seriously, it, the whole... Ask Wyoming, we don't see this. The yeah, whole point of what we do is for education and positive interaction and dialogue and communication with law enforcement. So... If you have any questions, I'm here to answer them for you. Gotcha. You got an auditor that's a friendly guy that's trying to do things and create positive change in this world who's happy to answer your questions. So if you want to take advantage of that, here I am. Gotcha. Well, I, if I had all the time in the world, I'd stand here and chit-chat with you. Well, it's important stuff because I, it I might help you. On you. Yeah, sure. Can you get your guys' names? Uh, no. Okay. 
I'm not going to give you my. That's kind of yeah. what I figured that you guys wouldn't give. And a the name. only reason I do that, if we were, if I was not doing this right now, not conducting an audit, I'd give you my name. I'll give you my first name. It's Jason. I'm not trying to hide who I am, but part of what we do is, this is my son. We've been traveling the country for almost two years. We've logged 35,000 road miles, visiting 32 different states across the country so far, in defense of our constitution. Gotcha. And it might seem a little bit strange to you, but I really want you to understand why we're doing it. I, have, I wasn't lying to you. I have a long career. I used to be a uh, staff photographer for the New York Times years oh. ago. I actually started their real estate section many, many moons ago. Uh, just a long history with video and photography. And my rights were attempted to be violated or actually violated many, many times on the job out taking video okay. and pictures in public on a public sidewalk and public places. I've been attacked. I've been all kinds of stuff happened. Gotcha. So. For that reason, we've chosen video and photographs as our venue to stand up for our Constitution. Okay. Because right now, as far as I'm concerned, our Constitution, I've said it a thousand times, our Constitution's taking a proverbial ass whooping these days, and we're not very happy about it. So this is an exercise of rights. It's as simple as that. That's all it is. You're good to go, Cook. And I really want Kaminsky to understand that, because Kaminsky, you, you really, that's the most confused look on a police officer's face I think I've ever seen. Actually, I've dealt with this before. Okay. So it's really not. I just we're we're not gonna leave until you guys leave. So oh, I'm not gonna leave until you leave. Well, that's that's where we're at now. Well, we're gonna hang out all day. Are then. Uncomfortable. So we gotta stick around until you guys. Leave. I gotta stick around until you leave, so it doesn't give the appearance that I was chased out of the building. Okay. So we're all so, gonna stand here for a while. I got literally 16 hours of battery with me. So in order to save everybody's time. Right. Because we have other stuff. We got well, if you guys want to take off, I'll stick around for a minute or two and leave, and they'll probably never see me again. Right. But I can't get chased out of a public building. We're not going to chase you. We're not chasing you. I'm just going to. I'm just, just going to ask you because you seem like you understand when I'm talking to you. Well, I do. Um, and I'm probably mean, the most reasonable First Amendment order you're ever going to meet. I can almost guarantee so because you that. Because of the ladies in the back feeling uncomfortable, would it be okay if we all walked out of here together on a clean slate, no terms? I'm not telling you to walk out here. I will like not that. leave until you guys are gone. Okay, so... That's just what I have to do. And the, like I said, I'm being totally forthright and honest with you. We have no ill will. We have no nefarious intent. I have no weapons on me. We're not looking to cause these guys any alarm or issues or problems. Um, but we are here for a very specific reason to prove a point. Okay. So the last thing I can do is have law enforcement ask me to leave and then I leave. So like I said, I usually don't even tell you that, but I'm extending that to you because you've been polite and courteous yeah. and professional. Yeah. So once you guys leave... Minute or two, I'm out of here. And like I said, they'll probably never see me again. But I can't be chased out of anywhere. I can't, I can't even have the appearance of that. But you guys have made your department look very good so far, and I would just, my humble suggestion, I would just continue with that. How you doing, sir? So yeah, I would just continue on with that if you guys are interested in looking good, making your department look good, and... They have no reason to be alarmed. All I did was come in and buy a stamp. Right. But, I mean, it goes back to... I used a credit card, so they already know who I am. It just goes back to, you can't speak on anybody else's comfort, I can't speak on their comfort. And they can't speak on what I'm allowed to do and so, what I'm not allowed to do, as long as I'm following the law. And I am. Because I could, le legitimately, I could hang out here all day because I'm working on a story. And it is for public broadcast, so it will be disseminated, and um, it's what I do. Right, no, I, I fully expect I'll, I'll see it on YouTube sometime. Yeah, so make yourself look good. That's all. I mean, you can call a sergeant. Sergeant will tell you to take off. If you get your sergeant or a lieutenant or somebody out here and they get the full breadth of the situation, they'll tell you to take off. I can assure you. Yep, and that's exactly what's going on right now. Yeah. We, we have the undersheriff coming down here. So before we leave and basically... Disobey, you got to cover your bases. Uh, lawful request by them. We're going to have somebody else come and tell It's them. not a lawful request. It's only a lawful request if I'm breaking the law or creating a disturbance. No, it's a lawful request that we hang out here. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. You guys can hang out all day, sure. I don't want to do that to you, but that's your choice. I hope you don't make me regret being honest with you. No, I, I have no intention of making you regret anything. Good. See, I think what's making people nervous are the two of you standing here. You got to come back on off the Yeah, okay. but I don't you, want to be on that. Okay. If you want to come back, like I can take it right back for you. Yep. Yeah. 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 Thanks. Stamp letters, I'm assuming. Hey, man, you can come through. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? It really is. Uh, 
I'm a little older than you guys. And I remember back in the day when somebody would have a camera out in public and people would jump in front of the camera and say, hi, mom, and wave and laugh and giggle. I'm, my goal is to bring those days back. I know I have a tall task in front of me. And I'm not going to change the world by myself, but I don't think anybody should be afraid of a camera. Unfortunately, anymore, now they are. And I actually, a couple of people walked up and asked me what we were doing. We were outside and I had a very cordial conversation with a few people. Yeah. I'm talking to people just like I'm talking to you. Not trying to cause any alarm or right. upset. Yeah. But now people want to get upset and they choose to be alarmed because that's what they want to do. I can't, nothing I can do about that. I, saw, I certainly don't feel like I'm inspiring alarm with a camera. Like I said, I gave you the reason why we're here. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what we got called in for. So as long as they're uncomfortable, we got to hang out. And it's at their request until our supervisor gets here and determines otherwise we're going to hang out. Have you ever read Poster 7? Do you I want to get an education today? Because I'm not trying to talk like I'm, I know any more than you do. Right. I'm sure you're much more learned on other things that I know nothing about. But I'm very versed on the law as far as this is concerned. So right here, if you want to educate yourself, it's up to you. But I think it might help you out on the next one. This is Poster 7. Hangs in every post office across the country. And it is the rules and regulations governing conduct on postal service property. Yep. Which gives us express permission to be here taking video. All right, and I'm not disputing And that. I say express permission. It it confirms our right to be here. Right, and I'm not disputing that. I, like I said, it's just people call us as an uncomfortable situation. Yeah, but people getting uncomfortable for a lawful, constitutionally protected activity is a bogus deal. I, I, and, and I think you would serve them better going inside and speaking to them and saying, ma'am, they're just out here taking some video. We know what they're doing. They're not looking to harm anybody. They're just looking to take some video. We're going to leave. They're going to be out of here in a couple of minutes. And they'd probably say, okay, great. Thank but in instead of exacerbating their fear, I think that would probably be a better option. Right. You know, just my suggestion. Excuse me? I don't think Deputy Kaminsky told them what we were doing and that there was nothing to worry about. He just probably listened to what they had to say and said he'd stick around and yeah, keep the place safe for them. But I would, I would just suggest to you guys, fostering fear is probably not a good idea in our society right now. If you don't really, you've done a threat assessment, you've had threat assessment training, you know I'm not a threat. You're not concerned with what I'm doing. You know you knew what I was doing before I even admitted it to you. Yeah. So you guys know what I'm doing. So when you communicate that to them and lower their stress level and lower their, their worry and why leave them back there twisting in the wind thinking there's something going on here that's not. But that, I'm just a suggestion. I'm just, you know, one man's opinion. The under sheriff. Yes, sir. How's it going? Good. How are we doing, sir? What can I do for you? Oh, nothing. These uh, gentlemen, I guess, called you, and uh, I was actually asking if there was a supervisor around. Yeah. Uh, because I just told. I'm sorry. What was your last name again? I'm sorry. Tadlock. Tadlock. I just told uh, Deputy Tadlock exactly what we're doing here. Okay. And I suggested to them that if they called the higher up and called the supervisor, you'd probably tell them to get back on the road and go back to work and do what they're well, doing. Well, they were checking you out because they have lots of complaints here in town. Oh, no, I get that. And I explained it. America and when people are walking around on video and they get nervous. Yeah, so, and I told them exactly what we're doing. Okay. So we're what still are... here. I told them that we're not leaving until we are told otherwise because okay. these ladies asked us to stick around until they leave. And what are you doing, I guess? I understand. First Amendment audit. Yeah, okay. So... At the end of the day, what it is now, the other thing is too, what you guys have to appreciate is you hear first amendment audit and you picture in your mind, these guys running around trying to instigate people into a fit and cause problems. Right. And, right? Maybe not all first amendment orders are like that. Right. I'm traveling with my son. Okay. We, we don't behave that way. I have okay. a couple of people that watch our channels. We right. try to be respectful. Understand. There's a huge divide in this country right now between law enforcement and the citizenry. Part of what we there's not here in this town. Maybe not in this town, but across the country, there, it's a it's a huge problem. And what we we've been in 32 states in the past okay. two years, and what we try to do is open up communication and dialogue with law enforcement okay. and have the conversation, find that middle ground, get a better understanding for what each other are right. doing, and that's all it's about. Right. Positive results and education. Okay. That's what we're looking for. Well, that's a big thing here in a small town. It's out of the ordinary. Oh, I get People it. People start calling us. What I suggested and to we this. we are going to come check it out. Uh, absolutely. That's your obligation. You're, right. Yeah, you'd be lacking in your but I've responsibilities. But i like already. What's going on at the post? Well, I'm sure it's different, like so you said. It's wasting our time. No, what I think is wasting your time is I get people calling, right? right. But what I suggest, my humble suggestion to Deputy Tadlock was instead of exacerbating the fear, 
now that I've been completely forthright and honest and explained right. what I'm doing, right. just go in the back, tell the ladies, now you know exactly right. what I'm doing, you know why we're here, until we break the law or violate no, some I kind of a law. That. So, and then they asked me if I would go but outside. We're gonna keep coming in here. Well, I'm not gonna stick around all day. I, what I told the officer, the deputies was, is as soon as they leave, right. I stick around for a minute or two and then I leave, just so I don't give the appearance of me getting chased out of here. Good. Yeah, that's all it is. I'm fine with that. Yes, oh, ma'am, absolutely. So, we get to deal with this. So. Well, yeah. you know what? Everything in life is an opportunity, right? Yeah. So it's either an opportunity to say we have to deal with this nonsense right. inconvenience, or this is a chance for some education, which never hurts. We live in a very fast-changing world. Right. I'm out here to educate myself, educate my son, mm -hmm. and if anybody else can learn something today, right. and we can all shake hands and walk away being better men, right. and having found some kind of middle ground and understanding for what right. each other we're doing, I got no issues with that. No, I'm fine. That's all it's about. All right, thanks. All right, sir. We're good. My appreciate And I'm sorry, your name was? You guys have a great Todd. day. Is it your undersheriff? Yes. Todd Limeser. Limeser. Appreciate yep. you. And badge okay. number, sir? What? Can I just get your badge number? 18 Sorry. 18-2. 18 two. I really appreciate your professionalism okay. and courtesy. Thank All you. All right. Well, thank you guys. All righty. Have a good day. Have a good day, Kaminsky. We just have to stick around until they take off. Odds are they're probably just going to hang out outside here for a while. Actually, might not need it. Pull, not push. All right, so we'll just stand here and watch them drive away, and as long as that happens, uh, we're out. So stand by. So there goes Kaminsky and his other buddy in the silver truck, that way. Under Sheriff guy just went that way, and uh, clear house. So I guess we'll wrap it up. Yeah. So we had an undercover come back and check on us as we were uh, getting ready to leave. Pretty stealth. See, that's why I tell you never to turn your camera off. Maybe this is the sheriff. Bet you it is. How are we doing? Let's see. Are you the sheriff by any chance, sir? Yes, I am. Can I introduce myself to you? Nope. No? I'll be, I'll really? Be, I'll be back with you in a minute. Really? Yeah. Well, really? So you try to be professional and courteous? I'm and... going in here to do business. Yeah, but that was a little rude, don't you think? Well, fuck off then, jack off. You're a fool. What you're you're a just, fool. What did you just call I me? I said you're a fool. Did you just call me an asshole? Not at all. No, I did not. Well, fuck off then, jack off. You're a fool. You better not. No, I could say whatever I want. What do you mean I better not? What are you talking about? Okay. You're coming with me. For you what? Do, you do not get away with calling me an asshole. What are you talking public, about? It's called I did not, sir, it's, it's called, on video. I did yeah, not say that. There's a lady. She misunderstood there. me just like you did, sir. Nope, I don't think so. Yeah, I think sir, I just walked up and offered to introduce myself to you. Why don't you stop acting am, like a tyrant I'm and just not, talk to me? Dude, I'm going inside to do business. So, talk, so you just grabbed me by the wrist, accused me of doing something I didn't do. It's all on video, man. And why don't you talk to your undersheriff? You're, too, you're picking on the wrong guys. You really are. You have no idea what you're doing. And I'm not going to call you what you said, but I think you're a fool. Wow. Just grabs me by the wrist. Did you see? You got that on video? Good. Well, now you get to answer the door for the process server. You know I do not have the time. You have a mental disorder. Like you. you have a mental disorder. You do. And I'm going to see you in court, buddy. We're going to make you pay.
I'm not the one out here filming and making Yeah, well, you're in deep caca. I don't want to curse in front of you because you can't handle it. And you know what? My First Amendment right says I can say whatever I want to you. So you know what? I do think you're a... Say it. Why? You're going to arrest me if I curse? Yeah, absolutely On a public right. sidewalk. Absolutely. You're going to arrest me. Go ahead. Keep making my lawsuit for me, buddy. Go ahead and call What's me. What's your badge number? Go ahead and call me. How do you me say your word. name? How do you say your name? How do you pronounce your name? Beat it. Officer Fool? <laughs> Sheriff Dumbass? That's what it is, yeah. See you later, buddy. Answer the answer the door for the process server. I'm filing a massive lawsuit against you. You just did that on federal property. You just grabbed my well, wrist and it's all on video. You are as smart as you think you are. Oh, right? I'm much smarter than you, that buddy. It's not federal property. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. What's that? You're an idiot. Verbal harassment. Verbal harassment. Get in your truck and go home. You guys. Are just... I walked up and offered to introduce myself yeah, to you and have a cordial conversation. You created this mess, fool. And you're gonna pay for it. You're gonna pay for it. You look at me. Do you see that I'm? Yeah, really small town about little me? Andy Griffith sheriff here thinks he's the man, dude. You're gonna see. You're gonna see. I'll see you in court, you buddy. Some real see you in court, buddy. Adios. Kick rocks. Toodaloo. Bye bye. We'll see you in court. I'm not going nowhere. No. Oh, well, you also have an ego problem. I'm gonna leave you alone because you have a mental disorder. Yeah, I do. Is there a legal issue here? Nope. Just your Go ego. Your Just your ego problem, huh? Go about your business. You just admitted there's no legal issue. No, there's not. Right. Go about your business. I'm, I'm doing my business right now, buddy. Okay. See you in court, bro. Well, all right, guys. Um, lesson learned here today by a couple of people, I guess. And that is always our goal. Those of you who follow our channels know that uh, we are not out to cause problems. Um, but standing up for your rights is a little controversial sometimes. Um, I mean, you know, Rosa Parks didn't call the bus company the night before and ask if it was okay to sit in the front seat. So this is what we do, civil disobedience. Um, and I don't even feel like we're really being disobedient because we're not violating any laws. We're not violating any codes, nothing. Um, but you have to let these people know that that's what it is. You have to let them know you know your rights. You have to be educated on what's going on, what you are allowed to do, what you're not allowed to do, and uh, handle things the right way. Be professional and courteous at all times, and uh, that's what it's all about. And that's what you see here on our channel, and uh, that's the way it goes. Well, I got my stamp, got my receipt, got my change. Actually, no change today. I used my credit card. Um, but that's it. So always like to remind you guys before we cut out, if you appreciate our videos, you like what we do, and you want to support what we do, best way for you to do that hands down is to like, share, comment, subscribe. All that stuff gets our videos out to more people so that more people can watch them, enjoy them, and hopefully learn a little something. Um, I know I'm out here every day getting an education, learning something new. Life's all about learning, guys. Doesn't matter how old you get. The older I get, the more I realize I don't know anything. Um, so soak it all in, observe, and uh, pay attention to what's going on. You might learn something. Um, I also invite you to do the same for watching the Watchman's channel. He's around the corner here. Uh, he's about to hit 60,000 subscribers. His videos have been doing great. He's putting a lot of work into them. Um, he's got his own, obviously his own narration, uh, information and maps and stuff you'll see on his videos, his perspective. So uh, I invite you to take a look. I'll leave a link in the description to his channel. And for those of you who don't know, he is my son. Uh, and I'm very proud of what he's doing, standing up for my rights, his rights, and your rights. And I uh, hope you show him a little support. Um, but that's it. So we're going to hop back in the truck, head down the road, and see what else we could find for you here in Wyoming. Uh, let me find the boy here. So coming to you from the United States Post Office in Sundance, Wyoming, watching the Watchmen, Amagansett Press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out.